actually, um, we have a longitudinal integrated collection at Harvard, and we built ours after having a phone call with people here in Hawaii. So, yeah, so we're sort of one of the children of your program. Hawaii had this very strong sense of social accountability and community engagement. We saw those as fundamental to medical education as well. Hawaii also thought very deliberately, like, how do we design the education, not randomly, not just like put them in a block here, put them in a block there, but how can we design quite deliberately to get the outcomes we as a university and as a state seek for our patients? In other words, there were workforce imperatives. It's more natural to be at the place where patients come in, right? If you only see hospitalized patients, you're seeing a certain sort of kind of, of disease entity, right? People live full and whole lives well, or well and then sick and then well again. There's prevention, there's chronic care, there's all sorts of things which don't end up in hospitals. So if you do this longitudinal design, you're in the community. You're where the patients are. You're seeing them as they come in. It's not that it, in some ways, doesn't train for acute care. It does. It just also fundamentally trains for core care. We love it as teachers. Uh, the student data suggests that they love it as learners. Um, and I think importantly also, there are really rich data about the fact that it, the patients love it too. The patients see it as a different.